Happy homecoming week, Ms. Machuela and SGA have been working hard to bring you all the activities in high for this week. This year's team is Chiefs in Vegas. Remember to participate in as many activities as possible. Let's talk about this week's dress up days. Thursday is dynamic duo day, so dress up as the famous duo with a friend. Friday is rags to riches, so dress in your best or worst clothing. Don't forget that Thursday is a big football game and we wrap everything up with the homecoming dance will be on Friday from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the gym. SGA wants to thank all, the, all teachers that participated in our first homecoming door decorating contest. Chief TV was out and about to check out the contestants. Hey Chiefs, want to be part of St. Lucia's history? Then make sure to enter the PBS Chiefs t-shirt design contest. There will be a three selected winners. The first place winner will receive a gift card valued at $125 and have their design on the limited edition PBS t-shirt. The design of the shirt should represent the positive behavior systems that we, have, that we strive to implement in the school on a day-to-day -day basis. Second and third place winners will receive gift cards valued at $75 and $50 respectively. And their designs will be showcased on printed posters displayed around the school. Deadline will be November 19. Scan the code on the screen to join the Google Classroom. Good luck everyone. Good morning Chiefs. I hope that everyone is in a great mood right now. It's homecoming week. So excited about the things that are in store. It's been great to see you guys dress up. You can see that I have on my jet lag outfit today. I guess that's up for debate. Uh, however, I just want to make sure that I take an opportunity to recognize our winners from the past two weeks for our Chiefs um, Universal Guidelines. Remember their confidence, high expectations, integrity, empathy, focus, all of which lead to success. I'm happy to announce our winners. We've been actively handing out gift cards to students that have won in the past. So listen closely, guys. Let me mix these up real good, real good. All right. So our first winner is, ladies and gentlemen, Wilson S. He's been nominated by Mrs. Walters for being very well organized. Way to go, Wilson. Congratulations. By the way, guys, once you're recognized as a winner, I will be calling you down. The next winner is Aiden Kobe Fanord. Colonel Stone nominated him. Congratulations. I'm mixing these up real good, guys, so I know that your teachers have been actively submitting these names. Our next winner is Dorcius N. Dorcius, nominated by Miss Clifton for focus and being prepared for class. Congratulations. And teachers, thank you for writing the comments on the fact. I really appreciate that. It helps us really identify our students that have demonstrated our behaviors. Our next winner, nominated by Miss Hess, is James O. Congratulations, James. So happy that you are able to be recognized by Miss Hess. Our next winner, nominated by Miss Rosa Morales, Brianna Ulysses. Congratulations, Brianna. They're coming in hot. We got a lot of these names to draw from, ladies and gentlemen, which means that your teachers have been actively submitting these tickets. The next one, nominated by Mr. Winkles, is Frenick Selmo. Congratulations for focus. Way to go. Keep up the great work, ladies and gentlemen. Our next winner is nominated by Mr. Lee, Salome Valencia. Congratulations, Salome. Our next winner, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not looking in there. So this is all random selection. Nominated by Miss Henderson, Lukens Philippe. Congratulations, sir. 
way to go, guys. Keep up the great work. We're excited about giving you guys gifts and recognizing you for all of your hard work. Uh, our next winner is Kathy Ayala Rivera, nominated by Mr. Winkles for paying attention. Way to go. Congratulations. Our next winner, nominated by Miss Henderson, Chalmima Estacott. Uh, and she's been nominated for helping a student get caught up with absent work. Way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are our winners for the last two weeks. I have another uh, winner or drawing ready for Wednesday. We've got some other things in store. Some of your teachers are going to be coming with some videos to show you guys what our chief's expectations look like around campus or don't look like for that matter. Thank you and I hope you all have a great day. Students, please make sure to use the newly designed welcome center when coming in and out of campus after the first period bell. IDs need to be worn at all times. Students on campus must provide their ID upon entering campus each day. Please make sure to have your ID and present it to the staff member at the gate entered. You may also download the SIS Gateway app on your phone to access your ID digitally. We appreciate your cooperation. There will be a dual enrollment information informational session on Tuesday, November 2nd in the Media Center during lunches. Representatives from Palm Beach State College's TRIO program will be in attendance to answer any questions you may have. For more information, please check the grade level Google Classroom or your guidance counselor. Get your smiles ready for our in-person picture day. This will take place on November 2nd and 3rd. Please verify with your English teacher that what day you will be going. You may get a flyer from your English teacher for a discount on picture packages. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Fouché. Listen up, seniors. You must call KD Studios to make an appointment for your senior class portrait. Deadline for the appointment is November 30th. Phone number is 561-404-8096. Students, there will be a FAFSA completion night on Thursday, November 4th, room 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Media Center at San Lucius High School. Students and families are welcome. If you have any questions, please contact your guidance counselor. Chiefs, if you are a junior or a senior taking ACE classes, you could be eligible for the ACE Diploma. The diploma helps you qualify for a Bright Future Scholarship. If you believe you qualify or if you have questions about the ACE Diploma, please contact ACE Coordinator Mrs. Clifton by email or stop by the ACE office in 8104. Attention all sophomores, juniors, and seniors interested in the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery or better known as the ASVAB test. It will be held on Tuesday, November 16th at 8 a.m. in the Media Center. For more information, please join the Google Classroom on the screen. Need a little help in math? Every Monday and Tuesdays, Algebra 1 tutoring will be offered in room 8101 and 8106 from 3 to 4 p.m. There will also be incentives for those who attend. Please also make sure to bring the work you are struggling with. Don't forget you need to arrange your own ride home after tutoring has ended. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Fauché. For all people interested in playing winter sports, you need to have your packet turned in or with you before you try out. A $10 tryout fee is also required when trying out for a sport. You can turn it in early to Ms. Co Mr. Cohen in the gym lobby doing both lunches. Are you passionate about nature? Want to make a difference by bringing awareness to issues like global climate change, endangered species, beautifying our campus with native plants and gardening? Be the Change is all about experiments and communicating about important issues. Meetings are held on Tuesdays in room 8153 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Join us. Please see Ms. K. Sweeney if you have any questions. Chiefs are a motivated and created individual. Do you have at least one art class in a minimum 3.0 grade point average? Then the National Art Honor Society is a place for you. Come mingle with like-minded individuals who have a passion about the arts. Applications are due by October 30th with two letters of recommendation. Make sure to scan the QR code on the screen to join the Google Classroom. Hey everyone, make sure to follow San Salucis on Instagram at San Salucis Chiefs and on Twitter at San Salucis HS. 
Well, Chiefs, that's all we have for you today. I'm Abigail Inela signing off.